Hello everyone, Bill Parrish here from GTT Audio. And today I'm going to talk to you about how we stream digital right. There's so many different programs out there, but for us there's only one, and that's Rune. With Rune's interface, with its neutral sound, without any coloration, with all the functions that it offers, I don't know why anyone would use anything but Rune. For this video I'm going to duck behind some photos that we've taken and show you some of the different components that we're using and how we stream digital correctly. First of all, you purchase the Rune app. But why would anyone run Rune on a laptop or a PC or a Mac computer for that matter, when Rune makes a dedicated Linux computer called the Nucleus. The Nucleus has its own operating system. That operating system is called Rock. And the only thing it does is run Rune. The in, -out, in and out ports are not busy running other programs in the background are not busy. This operating system has been developed only for Rune. It's, it's Rune's own computer, it's their own software. I don't want to beat it to death, but I'm telling you this is the way to do it. Purchase this computer. You had CD players back in the day that were from five high-end CD players were from five thousand, uh, twenty thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar CD players. Why would you want to skimp on your digital music? Think of all this as your CD player, your transport. This is how you listen to digital today. Let's make it be the best that it can be. So you get yourself a nucleus, and then the nucleus needs an endpoint to go to. There's a lot of different ways to do this. There's a lot of different devices out there. We love the Oralic products, the Oralic Ares products specifically. These are Rune endpoints. Oralic calls them digital transports. And that's what they are. You have your digital music originating on the nucleus, going to an Oralic Aries that then gets reclocked with dual femto clocks. You get a galvanetic isolation between the processing boards in this digital transport and the USB outputs, and then you connect it to a DAC. Our favorite DAC of choice is the Mola Mola Tambaki. The, the Tambaki also acts as a rune endpoint. But we actually prefer to go through the Oralic Aries first. Sound be, sounds more powerful, bigger, dynamic, quieter, flows better. We just think adding that extra layer of a dedicated rune endpoint, specifically Oralix Aries series, is really second to none. So let's talk about where that sound originates from, though on that rune core, if you will, or that nucleus. So, how does it hook up? First of all, you have to plug it into the wall. And this is what comes with the rune nucleus. This uh, switch mode, power supply, wall wart, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call it what it is. It's a piece of crap. Okay, <laughs> take that thing and replace it. This is the power supply. I think you should replace it with an external power supply. Now I'm showing you one here. We don't sell an external power supply. Hopefully I can get our good friends over at AudioNet to start making one. They make phenomenal power supplies that go with some of their preamp CD players, phono stages. I'd like them to get the voltages uh, to work correctly. 
and they, actually they'd need to drop the voltages down to run that nucleus. But here's a third party power supply that we use, that we've purchased, and this thing's like 15 pounds. Okay, so it's a 15 pound linear, that's the term there, linear power supply versus that switch mode power supply. Now look at it. One is this massive piece of iron and aluminum in a nice case versus this little piece of crap switch mode power supply that really, uh, it, it sounds good, don't get me wrong. Out of the box it sounds good, but every time you upgrade it will sound better. And you see that that little power supply, that little switch mode power supply has to plug in to the back of the room nucleus. So how do you plug in the room nucleus with the external power supply? Well, it comes with a nice little cable that is an, uh, it's 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 a XLR to a, to a mini pin plugs right into the back of that uh, into that nucleus. Again, big step up when you go to the external power supply, but let's look at the weak link, and the weak link is that cable. It's a freebie. It's throwing it in. It's like with a power cord. No company's giving you a good power cord nowadays. They give you a $2 power cord because they know that you're going to go out and buy a high-end power cord. Well, I think these third-party power supply companies that are making these linear power supplies for the nucleus think the same thing because that is just a piece of crap. We've turned around and commissioned Kabbalah Sosna to build us a dedicated DC cable for the linear power supply. It's a realization cable, realization technology. Yes, it costs a little bit of money. But again, we you have to look at the streaming as the grand picture, the big picture. It's, it's the sum of all the parts, not the cost of each individual part. Take a look here at the Kabbalah Sosna Realization DC cable versus the cable that comes with the linear power supply. Huge difference visually, huge difference sonically. So you need those two components to run that room nucleus. At least I feel you need them. We don't even sell one of them, and here we're promoting it. And I can tell you this. I had this set up, and then I had the stock power cord on it, because, come on, I'm supplying. I, I'm in a closet, by the way, and I'm, and I'm running the computer. How could an external power cord make a difference? Then I put on, we're, we're KS dealers, Cabal Sosna dealers, put on the emotion power cord. What what a what a shock that was. Then they put on an elation power cord. Another massive improvement. Right now we're running that with a realization power cord. And it is phenomenal. It does to this nucleus what a power cord does to a transport to a DAC to a preamp and an amp, all the way through. Okay, so we've got the nucleus down, how we're gonna run Rune. Of course, we're gonna control it with our iPad. And now we've gotta get it down to the Orlic Aries streamers that I was telling you about. You need to get it there somewhere, and these are they, they are Wi-Fi compatible but I always think you're going to have less problems or no problems if you plug it in. Plug it in, fix your IP address. If you don't know how to do this stuff, pay someone to do it. Or the dealer that's installing it, I mean, we'll help you out. If you buy the gear from us, 
we'll give you the recipe and we'll we'll program it for you you have uh, you, you need an ethernet cable get a high quality ethernet cable don't buy the piece of junk over at uh, Best Buy get something decent you know and again we use Kabbalah Sosna and then we've got to get out of that Oralic Aries over to our deck and once again you guessed it we're using Kabbalah Sosna the USB cable and then from the USB cable we go into the deck here's a photo of what the back of the Oralic Aries and the Mola Mola Tambiki look like when you're done. In the end, you get killer good sound. Just phenomenal. Better than any transport out there, better than any DAC out there. And you're into this for a lot less money than you ever paid for a high-end CD player, a high-end transport. You get better sound. You've got access to Cobuzz, which is really good. Lots of high-res music there. You can have hard drives filled with DSD. You can download from sites all over the world. You've got access to Tidal. I mean, Tidal and Cobuzz gives you access to 50 million tracks on each, uh, on each site they tell. That's huge. So again, Rune app on the Rune Nucleus computer to an Oralic Aries to a Mola Mola Tambiki. This is how to do digital right. This is going to give you the best sound in digital. Anyway, I hope this was a nice, concise, short, informative video, a little different than our previous ones. Be sure, be sure to share, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in two weeks.